This tutorial provides an overview of WeVideo. The site can be found at WeVideo.com. WeVideo allows users a full feature vote video editor. It also allows users to collaborate. So if multiple students are doing a project, they can all contribute and work on the same project. You can also add music and effects, export in HD, and with Android-based phones, students can record video on that phone and upload it straight to the program. You can sign up in the upper right-hand corner where it says Sign Up. And a nice feature is it allows you to log in with Facebook, Google, or Yahoo, so you don't have to create a whole new account. Once you have your login established, you can sign in upper, in the upper right-hand corner. Once you're logged in, projects can be found under the Project folder. You can also click the Create New Project button and name your project. Click OK, and it will create a new project. We'll just wait as this is working. After you've created a project, you'll need to add files. So up here where it says Import Media Files, if you click on this, and you're able to browse your computer to find what you're looking for. When you've selected the pictures you want to use, you can open them and then upload them. Once the pictures and video have uploaded, they can be found in the upper left-hand corner under Media Files. And there are the photos that we uploaded. We can select these and look at them individually if they're videos or select them to put into our own video. Once, we, once we've uploaded our photos and video and we're ready to create the actual video, in the center under Project Videos we can click Create New Video. And that's going to load the movie editor, which is where you have access to everything you need to create the video. We can find our files under Private Files in the upper left-hand corner. If you click on that, you'll see the three pictures that I uploaded. I can then take these pictures and click on them and drag them to wherever I want them to fall within the video. If I'm not happy with it there, I can move it to the beginning or I can move it farther down wherever I want it to go. I'm going to go ahead and take a second one and put it there right behind my first one. Notice I'm putting it in the graphics category here. Um, really it should go with this video or image, I believe. If I decide that I don't like where I placed it, I can click on the one I don't like and go up here to this X and simply delete them. So I'm going to go ahead and move these down here and just create really quickly a video using my three photos. Now that I have my three photos in place, you can see that I can also add audio or any sort of effects that I would like to add. There's an audio tab at the top in the center. If you click on that, it brings up some audio bytes that are preloaded. Um, so you can go through those and pick the audio byte that works best for your project. Since I have pictures of flowers, I'm going to scroll down through here and try to find something quiet and relaxing. I'm going to go with the very first byte that says relaxing. You can preview it over on the right hand side by clicking play. It's got a little bit of quiet at the beginning. Let's see what comes up here. Okay, that sounds like something I would want to use. So I can simply grab that 
and bring it down to audio and drop it. Again, I wanted to start at the very beginning, so I'm going to just move it to the beginning. Now that I have my images and audio, I'd like to add some transitions. So up here on the toolbar, you'll notice where it says transitions in the middle right. And we just have, here we have wipes. So wipe up, down, left, and right. We also have some animations. And you can take time and look through those. To keep it simple, I'm just going to go with the wipe left. And I'm going to add that transition in between my two photos. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that again to transition from my second to third photos. One more simple thing that you might want to add is a graphic. So up in the upper right hand side it says graphics. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep it simple and just add a main title page to the very beginning of my video. Let's try that again. Okay, and in order to type on that, up here in the upper right hand corner, you can type in what you would like it to say. And that will flow right over the very first picture and you can pick how long you want it to go. If we just want it, whoops, if we just want it to go to here, we can make it much shorter. And our video is now ready. So we can go right here, the left hand side. Notice you have a play, a rewind, and a fast forward. So if we just click play, this is going to be a very short video. Um, we can see how it's going to look in the upper right hand corner. Whoops. I should say that we need to move this main bar all the way back to the beginning. And you can see my flowers is on top of the actual flower and it's a little hard to see so you might want to change things like that. But we're going to go ahead and see how that plays. And transition to the next. And there our audio comes on. And that would be the end. If say you want the music to end at the end of your photos, this little button here called the split can split that for you and then you can go down here and delete all of the remainder track that you probably don't want. If you'd like to watch the video full screen, notice there's these arrows in a square in the center and you can click on that and it will show you your your video full screen. And that's a good way if you have students that created the project for them to show it to the class. And once you've saved the video, it will appear on the main page. So notice I have this one called Library 2012. If I didn't like the name of that, double click it. I can change it to flowers or whatever we might want it to say. Okay, and I have another video here called Library Test, and I actually exported it. I believe that's why it's not there. Once you're ready with your video, you have some options. You can edit the movie, go back in and make changes to it. You can share it or export it. Um, and it's just saying here that you're going to have a watermark on it because this is a free product. It allows you to share it to YouTube. Or to a couple other locations. You also can just share it to your Wii video account, which again would actually publish the video, um, but it makes it nice if a student's going to show it as part of a project. 
The only other thing I want to show you as I take you back to the main page is underneath, underneath prices and plans, it shows what you get with WeVideo for free. So these are some things to keep in mind. You get one gigabyte of storage, you get 360 resolution, um, which is decent for any student project. You get 15 export minutes per month. So if you're having students export it to YouTube or Facebook or wherever, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, you also get five invites per project. So if you're going to have a group working on a project, they're only going to get to extend the invite to five students, five other students and you get access to 390 licensed music titles. So overall, WeVideo is a great product for students to be able to work on their video, video editing um, and collaborate together as part of a project. This concludes the tutorial for WeVideo.